hello everyone welcome back to my channel again in today's video i will be traveling to darjeeling and specially this video is for my friends from philippines africa sri lanka egypt and nepal and the friends from south india so whenever we have a conversation about my birthplace they always have one question why darjeeling called the queen of hills well I am going to break it down this question to you all that Darjeeling is amongst one of the most tourist visited hill resort in India. The height at which Darjeeling is located is sure to leave you spellbound. Adding to this is the rich flora and fauna and icy chilly weather of the hill station, the world famous Darjeeling tea, toy train and so on and on that brags on her nickname the queen of hill and the chaurasta it means where four roads meet it's a historical public square in the victorian era hill resort town and a popular street in darjeeling where both tourists and locals gather to bask in the sun and hang around this boulevard is lined with the array of shops and restaurants. Whenever I visit this place, I always go to the famous Mahakal Dham. As we all know, Dana Mandir to pray, to thank Almighty God this place is so peace makes you feel blessed once you enter here and lighting up the candle as we call it chimi in buddhism in the name of my beloved heavenly bodied grandfather May his soul rest in peace. As you visit Darjeeling, you can also enjoy a trip to Rangit Valley Ropeway, which is one of the largest ropeways in Asia. A ride from this ropeway shall take you to Tiger Hill as you enjoy the beauty of sunrise over the Himalayas. The Darjeeling Hill Station will give you a spectacular view of the world's third highest mountain peak. Not only this, one can also enjoy an outstanding view of the world's highest peak, the Everest from the Tiger Hill. And finally, the Batasia Loop. This place is full of history and it has a commemorating statues for the martyrs gorkhas of world war and the bravest soldiers who sacrificed their lives to save this country and it is a world heritage site not to mention you get a brilliant view of mount kanchanjunga and the nearing himalayan ranges spread up to the north eastern border of nepal There is a nicely kept and well maintained garden as well. It's a good place to be with family and friends. 
After spending times, I have decided to go back home before the dawn. Well, I must tell you that this trip was exciting, made some memories and enjoyed making this vlog. I feel so great. I really wish to visit once again and you should too. Thank you for watching my video and supporting me and if you are new here please do subscribe my channel, like and share. If you have any suggestions you can leave below in the comments.